Hi, Micro Hunter here. This diatom over there looks like a moving coke bottle. Its name is Gone for Nemo Constrictum and in this video I'm going to show you how you can find diatoms and as a matter of fact I still have a few left here in my glass jar of algae and I think the diatoms are very fascinating and beautiful creatures. They are microalgae and they have a shell made of glass. They look very nice. Diatoms come in many different uh, sizes and shapes, but they have one thing in common and that is, is that they all have a shell which is made of silica and silica is chemically similar to glass. Diatoms are microalgae, so this means that they do photosynthesis and they have a chloroplast and here you can see the large chloroplast uh, brown in color and the brown color is due to an accessory pigment called fucoxanthin. Here you also see a slightly a more asymmetric uh, diatom and uh, some of the diatoms they can move by gliding along while others simply uh, are carried along by the currents uh, of the ocean and or the lakes uh, where they can be found. At the top this worm like structure that seems to be a cyanobacterium which is something completely different but it too does photosynthesis. Some diatoms uh, grow on other plants and algae and so this uh, colony here that you see, these stick-like diatoms, they have attached uh, on a surface on another algae. And you can see the small chloroplasts of the algae as well. And the chloroplast of this diatom here almost fills the complete cell looks a little bit almost uh, like a boat uh, from the top. And if you look very carefully, you can see that in the center of the cell, you can see a slightly brighter area. This could be the nucleus uh, of the diatom. Look at those uh, diatoms on the left side. There are several small diatoms in parallel, so this too is a microcolony. And here we have a rather asymmetric specimen. The chloroplast is also found in the center. And here in the center you have the nucleus. Look what happens when it touches uh, the debris that you find here. It reverses direction, so evidently the diatom is also able to detect uh, obstacles. Some diatoms uh, move along uh, by beating so-called flagella. However, I cannot see them under the microscope. Well, this is actually how I uh, extracted the diatoms. All you gotta do is, is tap some algae on a microscope slide and you're ready to observe them. In many cases, uh, you can also find a lot of other living things um, in the water sample. But the diatoms here are those little structures that you see arranged in a 90 degree angle in the middle. This is also a micro colony. And on the right side, you see a vorticella. This vorticella is a ciliate which is able to rapidly constrict and contract. This is an empty diatom shell. It does not have a chloroplast anymore um, and those empty shells what they do is, is they sink to the ground and they can build up in large amounts on the ocean floor and uh, this way they can form so-called diatomaceous earth. The movement here that is a worm beating and moving. This is my favorite one. Uh, it looks like a Coke bottle, a Coca-Cola bottle, and it is also gliding along and going around in a circle. Not only the shape uh, reminds me of a Coke bottle, but also the content. The brown chloroplast almost has the color of Coke. Of course, I had to do a little bit of research here because I wanted to find out the name of this particular specimen. 
and it looks very similar to Gomphonema constrictum, that is its scientific name. And how did I find that out? Well, of course, I had to consult uh, my books, my identification books. But I also found uh, a drawing online in a very old uh, identification book where people still uh, made hand drawings. And there too I found a drawing of this. One of the things that I think is remarkable here is, is you can see the color difference between the chloroplasts. The diatom has a brownish color and the other algae, this large structure in the middle, is much greener. So evidently the different algae and plants are optimized for, to do photosynthesis in different colors of light. Yes, and the coke bottle is happily moving around, gliding around, going around in a circle, not looking for food. Why not? Because they make their own food by photosynthesis. But by movement they can move to the area where you have most light. Okay, now I want to show you a drawing. Uh, that is uh, the drawing I found. It does not look quite exactly the same, but it's the closest that I could find. And that is Gomphonema constrictum, as I already mentioned. And I think uh, other diatom experts, well, they might agree or disagree. I think uh, not all identification books are able to list all of the specimens and all of the species that uh, are in nature, but at least uh, they're able to hint us into a certain direction very well visible, the transparent shell made of silica. Okay, that's it folks. I uh, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe to the channel if you did. And I wish you all the best. Happy diatom hunting, microp hunting as always. All the best. Bye bye and see you next time.